Hey Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to your September general reading. I hope you're all doing well out there. Um, thank you always for your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, sweet comments. Y'all know I love that so much, um, especially from y'all Cancer. Y'all know I'm a Cancer rising, so it means a lot when it comes from y'all. Um, right after this general reading, as we always do, I go right into your extended, which is your love reading. And what we do over there, in case you're new or have never checked that out, hello and welcome, of course. In the love readings, we connect with the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance. And we see how does that person truly feel towards you right now? What are y'all going through together? What do y'all think of each other? What's going on in y'all's connection? We kind of break it down. And then we look at outcome energy to see where is y'all's connection truly headed from here and lots of other stuff that we do in the love readings. If you want to check that out, it's in the description box below. My email is in the description box, my Instagram, my TikTok. There's lots of, lots of information um, in the description box, okay? All right, my cancer, my little crabs. Let's get into this reading. Remember, this is the general. So here I could be talking about anything. Okay, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For September, there's three more. Spirit, what does Cancer need to hear, see, or know at this time for September? What does Cancer need to hear, see, or know? at this time in September. Whoop. Don't fall away. Okay. Slippery. They slippery today. This is the Wild Unknown deck. I know that some of y'all are gonna ask. I haven't used this deck in forever on camera. We've got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. I love that. I'm seeing someone with blue eyes. Maybe if y'all have blue eyes or that's something very significant to you, but like a blue eye is just striking out to me. Um, four of wands, this is beautiful. Some of you could be connecting with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag Sagittarius. But this reading is going to be about union, connection, possibly the home life. Four of Wands is just such a beautiful energy of home, of family, cancer. You are, you know, the mom, the dad, the nurturer. You're all about the family life, the home life. So this is totally what we're talking about today. Okay, but Four of Wands is also, for some of you, twin flame, union, and soulmate energy as well. Okay, let's get some cards out for cancer. Who is that? Nice. We have the six of six of swords to kick it off. The eight of cups. Y'all are definitely on the move. We have the two of wands uh, that goes here. The mother of wands is first. So yeah, fire. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some, I automatically heard two become one. Two of wands. We're gonna talk about this. I just want to get some of the cards out first. I knew it. I freaking knew it. This was in your pre-shuffle. Ace of Cups, Cancer. Those of you that are single, there could be love on the way. Those of you that are already in a connection, this is a renewal of love, okay? Also creativity energy as well. I love it. So, so far I feel like, you know, you're very determined with this Mother of Wands energy. Whether you're dealing with a fire sign or not, I really feel like, you know, the mother, you, again, you're like, you know, she's she's wrapped up, she's protecting her egg, she's mama bear or papa bear, however this resonates, male or female watching. Um, there's something that you very much care about and protect and want to nurture. And really, I feel like um, you want things to get better in a situation, whether this is about work, love, career, family, whatever. You know, you're you're doing the effort, you're getting out of wavy hectic crazy waters with the six of swords where things have been maybe really up and down emotional or unstable i feel an un i'm hearing unstable around you like your environment people something like that so you're getting out of that also that instability doesn't fill your cup with the eight of cups you know that being around um an unstable environment i mean you're a water sign i'm a water sign you know i'm a i'm a pisces but i'm a cancer rising so like we tend to in our you know water signs we tend to absorb you know our family friends and just people we're around a lot we absorb their energies we absorb their emotions so i feel like where when when someone else around you feels upset or chaotic or they're having a hard time it makes you almost feel like you're having a hard time so you know there's there's a sense of moving on past that okay 
all right and then we have the queen of wands so you're definitely determined um you're you the queen of wands just because she's a fire sign i actually she's super super intuitive just like you cancer and i feel like you intuitively know that something new is coming in it's like you knew it you felt it um way back when it's like hey i'm not happy where i'm at and i know that things are going to get better there's a new path opening up but again i see these two wands coming together almost touching as as in one and i literally heard as soon as this card came out two becoming one ace of cups so definitely a new romantic partner new love coming in and um but intuitively intuitively i feel like it's something that you kind of knew was around the corner for you let's get some more cards out and see oh my gosh cancer sorry oh the ten of cups after the ace goes all the way to the ten yes and i'm seeing rainbows here right so wherever you have been either even if you're not physically traveling because six of swords can be vacation hey i need a little getaway i need to clear my mind it can be hey i'm not happy in this city i need to move you know, it could be literal travel, but it also can just mean it's swords are, are thoughts and communications. Even if mentally you're doing something um, to clear your head, to um, let things get better mentally for you. This is really, really, really good. Whatever you're doing, oh my God, keep it up, cancer. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. Let's see what else is coming through for cancer in September. Five of Pentacles under the Eight of Cups. Cancer. The Son of Pentacles. Okay, Guardian Angel energy big time. The Nine of Swords under the Two of Wands. Cancer. And then we have the, yeah, the Daughter of Swords. Under the Ace of Cups, so it's, that's the pr uh, Princess of Swords, the Prince of Swords, the Page of Swords, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay? Three little birds, everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right, yeah, all right. So um, this is just really freaking good, Cancer. The only two cards of, of somewhat concern, the Five of Pentacles, and the nine of swords so the five of pentacles for some of you with this son of pentacles here as well there could be a little bit of stress about money worries or something like that um and sorry if i'm repeating myself because i filmed this earlier and then it didn't work out so this is my second time filming but quality over quantity was coming in big time for you okay so for some of you if you feel like hey I'm not really seeing the results in something. I feel like my, you know, maybe um, a, your job, your career is, you know, something's really not only not emotionally fulfilling you, but hey, I'm also not really getting paid very well right now. Uh, maybe you've taken a pay cut, if that's literal for some of you. But um, it's really about the quality. It's really about the quality that's coming through. And we have quality over here with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's a mission here. Remember we talked about the Mother of Wands. You're intuitively feeling guided to start a new path with the Two of Wands. This new path, which is of love, okay, or creativity, however you want to say that, is with the Son of Pentacles is going to be something that's very long-lasting. So what I'm trying to say is I feel like there's a relationship or some type of special partnership that's coming in that's gonna last for a really, really long time. It's gonna be a long path. Um, it's gonna be a successful path. And I say that because we have the 10 of cups. I, if you've been, and you have been, I would say if you've been feeling not happy, emotionally lacking in something, okay? Whether that's a relationship, you're not feeling fulfilled, if it's your job, if it's something within you, hey, I don't feel happy when I do this. I'm not feeling really full and happy when I do this right? I feel like you're trying to figure that out. Mentally, you're feeling better and getting there and also emotionally. You're definitely on the move and doing something about what's not working for you. And even just the recognition of doing that is like a round of applause. It's like a really, really good job, okay? Because it takes a lot to get up and get moving when you really don't feel like it. You know, five of pentacles also, if this is not 
any kind of financial worry. It's a fear of loss. It's a fear of being without, being without the ones you love, being without your partner, being without love, right? Or some something like that. You always have love around you, don't worry. But, um, you know, Cancer, this is totally, totally... <sighs> you kind of picking yourself off and being very clear about what you want. Um, and I say that with a daughter of swords. This is like she's trying to clear her mind and be very um, decisive and be very intentional about her thoughts and what she's bringing in. And that's bringing in the Ace of Cups. So really all it takes for you to bring in the Ace of Cups, which is a new love or an, a renewed love. Okay? Unconditional love where you really also are fully accepting yourself. It's just have to get clear in your mind about it. You just have to make up your mind that, yeah, that's the path I'm on. And maybe for some of you, that is what this is about. Because I feel like in the past with this nine of swords that you've been very, very stressed out. And then you get this opportunity with the two of wands. A new person, a new contract, a new job, a new something. And I love the rainbow behind this. Like this could be any wish coming true. This is not normally like a wish fulfillment card, but I'm feeling that with this. Especially next to that Ace of Cups. I feel like it took a lot of strength, a lot of stamina for you to stand up and do something about um, some type of negative results that you've been seeing. Again, in whatever your situation is. Because it's really, really easy. And I can say this, I'm a Cancer. It's uh, Cancer Rising. You know, it is very easy to kind of sit in that energy of, mm, this is not working, but I'm just going to sit here. You know, that's an easy thing to do is just to sit and not do anything about it. But then then we just kind of feel like this rose. We just feel depleted. Yeah, I'm still here, but mm, I'm not feeling my best. So you, this is like the get up and go. This is like your, your ticket here. And for some of you, again, you could have a fire sign around you that's maybe inspiring you. Maybe a fire sign is coming towards you with an offer of love. And all you have to do with the page of swords is simply say yes. And I feel like that, I feel like this almost nine of swords wants to just not even be here once you say yes or once you accept it. Because look at this page of swords, daughter of swords. You know, she seeks only the truth. And I feel like the information, look at all that darkness around here. But, there, but there's these little um, different color, like fireworks almost, like little inspirations, little, little kind of like... Um, like pieces of yeah this rainbow like look at that kind of filtering in it's kind of how i see it and it's like you see the light at the end of the tunnel you feel that energy coming in all you have to do is say yes all you have to do is say yes all you have to do is say yes it's right here I love the three of cups at the bottom of the deck here as well because this is celebration. I feel like you get this really good news, this person coming in or this this contract, this something that just completely, it's like, and when you say yes, you get that 10 of cups. Like, I just don't know how else to say it. You're, you're already doing it. You're manifesting it. It's already here or going to be here very, very soon. And this is that celebratory energy of I get to celebrate this love i'm gonna call my friends my my i'm gonna call my mom i don't know if, <laughs> maybe because the mother is right there um like i'm gonna call my mom oh my gosh i'm in this relationship or oh my god i got that thing i've been wanting that i've really been trying to get out of for a lot of you i honestly to get really real if this is not about love or anything else i feel like a lot of you are really doing something about some depression or some type of anxiety here with the nine of swords depression and anxiety i feel that big time and like I said, it's easy to sit there. It's not fun, but it's it sometimes can trap you and make you feel like I don't have anything here. And I also want to say with this five of pentacles, this can be also be an energy where you may have what you're looking for, what you like what you desire. Like maybe you're you do have a love or you do have more money or you have something that you desire, you're just not looking in the right place in the five of pentacles so because of that again like you know either where you're at or what you've been doing hasn't been giving you the results results that you desire so you're getting up and moving on even if it's a little bit painful you're like i gotta go 
I gotta go do me. I gotta go get this Ace of Cups. Woo! That's big. Man, this is gonna be so, so good in the love reading. All right, let's cap this off. I'm gonna get a little manifesta manifestation message for you. Um, and I do wanna go back really quick if this is about any kind of mental health or depression or any anxiety. I mean, I'm not a doctor by any means, but I will say that this is a road of recovery is what I keep hearing, okay? The mother of wands, like you could have inspiration, people around you that wanna help you and see you rise up. And even though he's in the darkness, he's looking down at the light like, I can do this. Like, you might, have ha you might have had your head down recently, Cancer, but there's a huge reason to get that chin up. A huge reason. A huge reason. Huge reason to get that chin up. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what message do we have for Cancer in September? Thank you, Spirit. What message do we have for Cancer? Trust the process. Everything always works out. Something better is on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. Absolutely, a thousand percent. Everything always works out. It's like almost you need to keep telling yourself, everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. If you need to say that a million times in the morning, you know, get that mantra going, get that positive energy, because that's something that the Queen of Wands would say. That's a get up and go. I got this. There's roadblocks all over the place but you see the light at the end of a tunnel. Oh, this is so good. All right, let's get a message out for cancer. And then I'm going to go to your extended. Cancer. I just love this little deck. I just want to get y'all a card. I just love it. I've been loving this deck. Okay, we have past programming. Choose your beliefs, recognize false stories, external conditioning, make decisions that support your goal. Exactly. I feel like for a lot of you, it could be, this is like going pretty deep here, but I feel like, again, if it's like past programming, like you're feeling not happy eight of cups about maybe a belief a story you were told by your parents or society they told you to be this way or you had to go to college get married have a kid you know like do the white picket fence thing like no you don't no you don't you don't have to do it in that order and you don't have to do all of those things like i feel like you're really coming into your own you're kind of taking control back in your life and really finding out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And you're doing something about it. And again, I couldn't be more proud. And you're being so rewarded um, with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Just, you're doing amazing, Cancer. This is such a positive and good reading. I'm so happy for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it there. Those of you that want to do the love reading, I'll see you in just a minute. And if this is where we part, I love you so much, Cancer. I'll see you all next time. Bye.